welcome. Welcome to the Strong S Voice channel where we love cybersecurity. And um, this particular video, I'm going to give a brief overview of the Commando VM that was made by the guys at FireEye. And uh, this Commando VM is a nice VM, is is a good recommendation for those who are penetration testers, security engineers, maybe you're looking to enter pen testing, maybe you're looking for another type of pen testing suite or option in addition to your current uh, Linux library, if you will. Um, so uh, for those who who've always had a niche for Windows and a liking of Windows and wanted to have a Windows option for pen testing, this is definitely a recommendation on or for me. And just a, a quick blur about this VM, it is heavily built with all types of tools. It is designed for internal um, engagements. So in other words, if you have a particular pen test, especially on the networking side, where your goal is to um, get inside a network, maybe perhaps through lateral movement, pivoting, compromising other potential targets, this is one that you should look into having in your arsenal. And uh, housekeeping tips in regards to even configuring and installing this particular VM, um, I have a Windows 10 image. It runs on 64-bit architecture. It definitely recommends to have a um, the latest version if you're able to have. My particular version on this VM is a 2004 Windows 10 Pro. And uh, just to show briefly, I do know according to some of the documentation that it will run on other uh, versions. I believe it runs on 1903 and, and another version. But for me, myself, I just chose to upgrade my Windows 10 image that I have already had on virtual side to the Windows uh, 10 Pro 2004 version. So I haven't had too many problems out of this um, other than just making sure that my image was 64 bit because it doesn't run on 32. Um, also, um, I had a, a issue with Metasploit actually uh, being installed during the current automatic installation uh, process. So I had to manually install Metasploit myself. But Metasploit is one of the packages um, on the Commando VM GitHub's um, code list. So Metasploit is there alongside a host of other tools and just briefly uh, give you a little overview. So with the tools in this particular VM, it's broken down by category, which makes it easier. It reminds you of the of a similar layout of Linux based pen testing distributions. So with this particular VM, as you can see on the screen, exploitation is right there. You have information gathering, networking tools, password attacks, vulnerability analysis, web application. So with exploitation, I, the, literally the world is yours in, in regards to some of the tools that are at your disposal. Now I will say um, the use of PowerShell is of course is very heavy because it's a Windows VM. So definitely get your PowerShell hands ready and ready to roll. Um, one of the tools I would actually highlight is Sharp Exec. Uh, Sharp Exec is one of the tools that comes within this particular uh, VM. If it does not install during your installation process, you can go and grab it um, from a, a GitHub. And Sharp Exec is a, it's a tool that was made to conduct lateral movement. So, Many of the tools that are within the exploitation category are really have a higher focus on post exploitation. So just give you a heads up. Uh, some of the other tools, and let's say for example, web application. 
Burp Suite comes already built in. OWAP Zep comes as well. You have um, Chrome as web browser that comes as well. Let's take another look. Let's, see, let's look at Evasion. Um, once again, just in your uh, internal engagement, one of your tasks may require you to bypass AV, to bypass modern uh, mechanisms and devices. So some of the tools within the Evasion um, folder are designed to assist you with bypassing some of those um, countermeasures. And if you have an engagement where for some odd reason, the client doesn't have an active IDS or IPS, then that's a big security hole for them, but a little bit easier for you. So, if you look into information gathering, you have another nice size list of tools from Bloodhound, you have AD Recon, Goldbuster, Nmap, the GUI version of it, Zen Maps at the bottom. You have Share Audit, which is an audit tool to help you retrieve information from network shares, which could be very helpful if you're trying to uh, even get to a deeper dive inside of a network once you have gained initial entry. So this, this is a, a nice summary of it. Um, it would take you approximately two or three hours to download and configure and install the entire VM depending on your network speed. But generally, if you want to install, just set aside two or three hours. Um, for the most part, it is in the install and walk away where it can install on its own. Once you execute the first couple of commands within PowerShell, you will have to um, type a command that's on a set your execution policy, which will allow you to go on with the scripts inside of PowerShell. And you also have to temporarily um, deactivate or disable Windows Defender, AV, all of those uh, things within Windows 10, just because if you don't disable it, then it it will basically keep you and prevent you from installing some of the tools that were in the evasion category. So you'll want to disable the AV so that way you don't have any errors within your installation where you're trying to install some of the other tools. Otherwise, it would say you're blocked because of um, your current settings and you must disable them to proceed forward. So just give you a heads up on some of the settings you may have to tweak just to install some of the rest of the tools. But this concludes my introduction to Commando VM. I will post some other videos within this channel. It's going to show some tools being used. So as I always say, happy testing, happy learning, keep it ethical.